Welcome to another lesson that is part of the TI30XB student course. In this lesson, we will be covering two variable statistics. The data shown in list one and list two give the results of braking tests for a vehicle at four different speeds. They've been entered via the data key. The speeds in kilometres per hour are listed in L1. The braking distance in metres are listed in L2. It has been suggested that a linear relationship exists between the speed and the braking distance. Find a linear rule of the form y equals a plus bx between speed as the x variable and braking distance as the y variable and then use this to estimate the braking distance required for a vehicle traveling at 55 kilometers per hour. To answer this question, we will use the two variable stats tool. Press second and then data to access the stats menu. Select two var stats. For the x data, choose L1, that is the speed. For the Y data, choose L2, that is the braking distance. Then press Calc. This will display the two variable statistics. Scroll down to view the line of best fit values for A and B. where this line has equations y equals a plus bx. So the line of best fit has an equation that is approximately 0 0.677 minus 18.666 times the x value. To use this equation to predict the braking distance for a speed of 55 kilometers per hour, press clear and clear to return to the home screen. Press second and data to access the stat menu and select option three for the statistical variables. Scroll through the list to locate Y dash. Press enter enter 55, close the brackets and press enter. This is using the line of best fit to evaluate the predicted value of the braking distance for a speed of 55 kilometers an hour. The rule predicts that at 55 kilometers an hour, the vehicle will have a braking distance of approximately 18.59 meters. That's it for this lesson. Thank you.